Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest. But you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Can I... can I please ask you for one last... 
Request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! David Madsen! Of course. Well... You are not going to stop me! Oh lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you. For the last time. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Now, what the hell is this place? David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. I had no idea he was this sick. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And hey Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. Nathan killed Rachel, and 
Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she, she would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? David, um, she was pretty stressed out, so, um, she went to go, um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over I'm this I'm glad computer. that freak is tied up, but I still feel like I'm in shock. Oh, no. I can't believe this is real. 